Kyle Berger here, working from home, and it allows me to get some chores done while I, I update you on all the local sports. We found out today the Tampa Bay Buccaneers' pursuit of Tom Brady actually had a code name, Shoeless Joe Jackson. According to ESPN, it turns out there are some fans of the movie Field of Dreams in the Bucks front office. If you build it, he will come. Brady leaving the Patriots to join a franchise that has missed the playoffs for 12 straight seasons. An unlikely scenario, just like Shoeless Joe Jackson walking out of that cornfield in Iowa. These are actually like like really, really, really clean. Bucks, Chris Godwin, Levante David, and Devin White got an early peek at the team's new uniforms. We'll all see the new threads this Tuesday when the team unveils them. It will be the Bucks' first uni change since the 2014 season. The Tampa Bay Lightning would be in pursuit of the Stanley Cup right now. The NHL playoffs were set to begin this week, but COVID-19 put everything on hold. Some players have gone home, some have stuck around Tampa. I caught up with Lightning's Ryan McDonough on how he spends more time now with his kids. You know, they can find the, the joy in some of the simplest things. And uh, I think that's a good message. And I think that's something my wife and I have tried to take to heart is, uh, you know, something as simple as, you know, going for a scooter ride or a walk around the block. Um, you know, she gets so excited every day. The only positive, if you want to call it that, for the Lightning, whenever play does resume, Steven Stamkos should be at full health after having core muscle surgery five weeks ago. Tampa Bay Rays all-star second baseman. Brandon Lau is keeping his skills sharp while the season is suspended. His wife is throwing him BP in their garage. Madison's first pitch hits him. Brandon does get payback on the next pitch. I did speak with Lau's teammate Austin Meadows on how he's staying in game shape. We have our dog. I throw the ball, you know, I'll throw the ball and she'll go get it and retrieve it and I'll, I'll hit the ball with my bat and just try to find things to do. Meadows is coming off a breakout season where he led the Rays with 33 home runs. Now, my dishwasher, a finely tuned machine, just like NASCAR's stock cars. The NASCAR Research and Technology Center in Charlotte has five 3D printers normally used for updating stock car technology with racing on hold due to coronavirus. Those printers are now being used to make face shields to protect healthcare workers. The NASCAR industry is well suited to help out. Uh, some of the best fabricators, engineers, and mechanics um, used to working in this fast-paced environment. Now those machines can produce three face shields every two and a half hours. Now this is what I'm doing at home. I want to know what you're doing at home. Melissa Fields and family sent me this TikTok video. A little dancing in the house. Wait a minute. Todd Grazley sent me this clip of his son Gavin. Quarantine golf. Reading the break in the sidewalk to perfection. Yeah, you did. Now, if you have a highlight from home, you can find me on Twitter, Facebook, or shoot me an email. That'll do it for sports. You're watching ABC Action News. We'll be right back.